You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. The bread of the dead. Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat to sell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh. Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Out below. The 
this balloon is filled with a dark chemical. That doesn't sound good. Trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! The dead boat looks like it's not set. I've just locked an old strange. Yet symbolically compelling. The dead boat looks set. Ah, our cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they're like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Enough for government work. Not picking that up. Red tube looks familiar. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteered time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're Red Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh yeah, and it's even better company now. I'm in. Buenos
días. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Hey, Funny Bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. It stays here. I don't see anyone out there. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft-serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto-body filler. Hey, anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you, or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost.
I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. Look, I did what I had to do. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. My boss's secretary's evil twin. Just me, honey. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Salvador seems to be concentrating. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? I'm not a joiner. Just pop the hatch and let's part friends. I'm sorry, but this is war, Manuel. And you are the first draftee. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Michi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. 
What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. Hmm. Dom's office is empty. Aha. Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. What the? There's something glowing in there. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. What a jock. It's attached pretty well. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. That's how Domino meant it to be used. Pigeons obviously like this dish vent. I don't like the looks of those pigeons. Maybe that will scare them, eventually.
it, you lousy little lech pickers. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Grim Reaper. I think I should get out of here with these eggs before those vent... Hey, what did they do with Gladys? It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth. And like quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Check these babies out. Ooh, show those to Salvador. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you.